Hey everyone, I'd like to welcome you to this special new series that we're doing in collaboration with JetBrains for their C++ IDE called c -Line. Now I've been using c -Line for quite some time now. I'm really excited to share some of my experiences and insights with you. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about c -Line's fantastic cross-platform experience. As a person who is developing on both Windows and Mac, I find it jarring to go from an experience where I'm using Xcode on Mac to another experience where I'm on Windows using Visual Studio. Wouldn't it be great if there were a solution that could offer a similar experience whether you were on Mac or Windows? In my experience, I've found that C-Lion smooths out most of those rough edges that you get of switching back and forth between those platforms. The main sections and windows are practically identical and most of the shortcuts are the same. Now, I will say that there are some slight differences. So when you're building an app on top of two separate operating systems, it's very difficult to keep the experience exactly the same. So some things like build tool chains and the terminal experience are going to be slightly different. But I would say speaking overall, that about 90% of the experience is the same. And I could say that I've had a really smooth experience moving back and forth between those platforms. So what we're gonna do right now is get a quick word from our sponsor, then we're gonna dive straight into Sea Lion, and I'm gonna show you some of the tools that I use on a daily basis that'll help you get started today. Okay, so here we are in c -Lion. And one of the first things that I'll say is that I really love how clean this interface looks. So I don't know about you, but in my experience working with other IDEs, I've found that there's all of this irrelevant information that's coming at me and that the IDE is letting me know about or showing me that I don't really need to know about. The main things I'm concerned about for me are the source files that I'm working on uh, and the code that I'm actually writing. So here you just see you have your project tree structure here and then you have your actual code. So those are the main two things that I want to know about when I'm working with my code uh, for the most part. So I'm going to give you a tour of some of the most widely used tools that I find in my workflow and I hope that you find them useful as well to get started. So starting at the very top here, you just have your standard project if you want to load a project or um, uh, here I have a project loaded and it's just showing that here, pretty standard stuff. Then to the right of that, you have some Git information of your repository. So right now I'm on the main branch and you can do some really cool stuff right here from inside c -Lion's window. So no need to go back and forth between the command line and um, do stuff to push commits. You can actually just create a branch, check out something or push a commit here. So if I just click commit, what it'll do is it'll open up this window here, which is your commit window. And in here, I can just type a commit message and I can just commit and push it right here. So uh, creating a new branch, committing code is really super easy and just one or two clicks away. So opening up the project view again, uh, once again, this is just your tree structure, um, nothing really out of the norm here. Then going down here, you have a pull request window uh, that I'm not really going to speak on because I don't actually use this myself. But going below that, you have another handy uh, view here, which is your structure window. So in here, what you can do is you can actually just take a look at your structure. So if you're in a really large source file, this is really, really handy. I've picked on probably the shortest file that I, that I have available to me, but let's find another one here. So let's say this one. Um, so in here you have your structure and this is especially useful if you have a lot of uh, methods in your source file here. So you can just actually just navigate to those just by clicking them it shows nicely that you're in a public or private part of your class. So really, really super handy. So I love that uh, window. 
Then going down here to the bottom left, one of my favorite features of Scene Line is this CMake window. So uh, down here you can actually see the results of your last build. You can trigger a build from here. You can actually also make a setting where you, when you edit your CMake file, that it automatically triggers a rebuild. You can go to your settings here and then you can use a different tool chain. You can use a different project generator if you want. So a lot of interactivity here in the CMake window. And I haven't even mentioned the biggest one or my favorite one yet, which is that you can actually debug CMake files from here in CLine. Yes, you can debug CMake files, which is really awesome. I've never actually seen that anywhere else. Uh, and I will do a video on that in the very near future to show you how to go through that. So going down here to the bottom left, you have a services tab that I don't use, so I'm not gonna really comment on that. And then you have a terminal window. So if you wanna um, do some, some bash scripting and things like that, you can just do that right here in this window. Then you have a problem window. So as you can see, uh, impulse is, is spelled wrong, even though that's just the name of one of the hardware devices. So that's not really on me, but you can see any problems, any warnings here in this window. Then below this, you have a really cool interactive um, Git log. So here you can see your Git log. You have this nice interactive graphical window where you can actually right click on it. You can um, you can go and you can check out a uh, you can check out a commit. You can um, go here, look at what files have been changed. So this is really interactive. A lot of the relevant in information that you would want to know about when you're um, when you're working with your repositories. So it's all really cool here. Another uh, another really cool thing is that you can actually take the you can take each one of these windows and you can actually pull them out. So if you're working on multiple monitors, you can actually take this, move it over to another monitor. And then if you just want to snap it back into your IDE, you just hit another button and it snaps right back in. So really, really convenient stuff. Moving along now up here to the top, uh, we have the uh, your profile window and your build configuration. So right now we're in a debug configuration. If I wanted to change that, then I could, uh, I could do that here. Then here you have your build targets. So here I have four targets and I can run each one of those or debug them, uh, change them. And besides that uh, build target window, you have three uh, different options here, pretty uh, standard stuff, but I love that it's really minimized. So it's not taking up the entire uh, IDE for building running and debug building your uh, your target. Going over here to the right is something that I haven't actually tried myself, but I think it's really awesome and I intend to try it with some of my more experienced colleagues so they can teach me some cool skills, which is called Code With Me. Uh, so this is a way that if another person is working with CLine, they can actually code, uh, code with you in real time. And I think that's a very handy feature that I intend on using very soon. Going to the right here, we have a search um, a search window, so you can open that up. Another uh, really handy feature that I love uh, is that you can hit Shift Shift on Windows or on Mac, and that will actually bring up your search window as well. And this will search throughout your project. So if I want to search for something, I can I can search for it. I can grab it, pull, uh, open up that source file. I can, I can open it up in a split view. So a lot of really good options there. Then you have your, uh, your settings window that you can, that you can do there. You have your notifications for er any errors that you have. Then below that, you have another one of my favorite features, the AI assistant. So JetBrains actually has their own AI assistant, and I love it. I've been doing comparisons of that alongside GitHub's Copilot, and I have found very favorable results with JetBrains AI assistant. And I will actually do a separate video on this a little bit later, showing you how to use it, showing you uh, what sort of results that I get. It's really knowledgeable, and um, it's it's really good on C++. It shows you all of the um, 
all of the modern C++ solutions. It'll help you uh, improve your code. It's really helped me improve my skill set. I really love it. Then below that is another window that I don't really use, which is the database window. So that is a rundown of your basic tools that you have here with C-Lines. So I really hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, I found it really handy. I hope that you find it handy too. And there's more information on C-Lion in the video description below. Until then, uh, happy coding, and I hope to see you again soon.